There's several different Toy Story tunes, but among all of these, Small Fry stands out as a true gem. Released in 2011 and shown before the Muppets in theaters, this animated short has become easily accessible to fans through Disney+. While millions have seen it, you know the fascinating story behind its creation. So let's get ready to dive into that unsanitary poultry palace ball pit and explore the origins of Small Fry. The spark for Small Fry came during a routine brainstorming session when Pixar animator Angus McLean sketched a picture of Big Buzz holding Little Buzz. The simple drawing caught the eye of then Pixar CEO John Lasseter, who encouraged McLean to develop the concept further. As McLean brainstormed potential storylines, he drew inspiration from an unexpected source, his mother and sister who were both psychologists. They'd always joke about the concept of a toy support group similar to the group therapy sessions they ran. But what kinds of toys would attend such a group that hadn't already been explored in the Toy Story universe? Well, the answer lay in McLean's childhood memories of collecting fast food toys. In an interview, he said, I settled on Happy Meal toys because I always enjoyed them. Historically, many have been great toys, inexpensive, but of real high quality. McLean's choice of fast food toys for the support group was brilliant. While these toys could be pretty cool in their own right, they often paled in comparison to their regular, non-fast food counterparts. You know, real toys. And as a result, they were frequently unplayed with and were uninvolved, a source of trauma for these items. This sense of being overlooked or discarded made them perfect candidates for a toy support group, adding an extra layer to the story. To create authentic fast food toy designs, McLean visited over 15 restaurants in his hometown of Portland, Oregon, studying their kids' meal offerings. This research led McLean and his team, led by story editor Josh Cooley, who would later go on to direct Toy Story 4, to create a cast of brand new characters, each with their own quirky backstories. These mismatched characters often had dual purposes, combining random ideas. Many were designed with imperfections like manufacturing defects or visible seams, and that's where the idea for Minnie Buzz's oversized head came from. McLean said, that happens a lot with fast food toys tie-ins. They'll just sort of get it wrong. They can't be the real size, so everything will be just a little bit off. Mini Buzz just wants what he can have. He's kind of an opportunist. Now the setting of Small Fry also draws inspiration from unexpected sources in McLean's background. While the Poultry Palace restaurant might evoke comparisons to Chick-fil-A, which was rapidly expanding in the early 2010s, no direct correlation has ever been confirmed. However, the iconic ball pit scene, where Buzz is switched out by Mini Buzz, has more of a concrete origin. It was famously inspired by McLean's college job at Discovery Zone, an indoor playground chain famous for its colorful ball pits. This personal experience allowed McLean to recreate the chaotic, vibrant, and somewhat disgusting atmosphere that served as the perfect backdrop for this toy switch, adding an authentic touch of 90s nostalgia. Small Fry introduces us to colorful characters like Neptuna, a warrior mermaid who leads the support group, and T-Bone from the fictional TV show Steak Force, sponsored by the Meat Council. What else? We also meet Funky Monk from Rappin' Robin in the Hood, and even a toy inspired by the little-known 1981 Disney film Condor Man. You can tell that the animators really put a lot of thought into the character design of these toys. Just take a look at how cool they look. While the main characters in the original Toy Story were inspired by 1950s and 1960s toys, the Happy Meal toys and Small Fry draw from the 1980s and 1990s fast food culture. This generation shift led to some humor that Lasseter didn't fully grasp, but he trusted McLean's vision. When Small Fry debuted with the Muppets in 2011, the audience response was overwhelmingly positive. Viewers connected with the short's exploration of deeper themes, such as the emotional impact of being an unloved or overlooked toy. The short's popularity even led Disney to release a special Poultry Palace toy set, which has become a coveted item among Toy Story collectors. 
The Fun Meal toys got over so well with audiences that McLean was optimistic about a potential spin-off starring one of the characters, the Clown Ninja. As for McLean, he went on to direct the hit Finding Dory and the, well, underwhelming Lightyear. Recently, he was laid off by Disney during company restructuring. So, for now anyway, his work at Pixar seems to have come to an end. But despite this, his work at Pixar, including the brilliance of Small Fry, continues to captivate audiences every day. In fact, you can watch Small Fry on Disney Plus now. And if you don't have Disney Plus, I'll leave a link in the description where you can watch the short on the Disney website. And hey, if you do watch it, let me know if you and your family enjoy it as much as we do. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the backstory about Small Fry. If you have ideas for other topics you'd like me to explore related to Toy Story, leave them in the comment section below. 